today, these tears are tears of joy. They're a grateful reflection of my past. And I sit back today, and all I can do is just be grateful. And this part I share, I share because I'm trying to give hope to a lot of mothers out there, both married and single mothers. That no matter what you go to trying to take care or raise your kids, you have to always find that inner strength to move on. No matter what life throws at you, always learn from it. And always channel your love to your children. I remember when I got married and on my wedding day, I discovered my husband did not love me. On my wedding night, he said, I do not love you. I only married you because you were pregnant. And I gave my life to Christ again. And I held on because I just could not walk out of a marriage I just got into. And I decided to have my son in church. And I did have him. The Redeemed Christian Church in it, right, Moshe? I remember the first time that boy popped out. Every pain I felt, every sadness, every guilt, every blame, everything just away. It went away because I put all the love in that boy, Festus. And I loved him with all my heart. And I never extended any hate to him. Nor did I ever make him see the tears I shed today. And I made a vow that I would give him all the love. Because he did not beg to come to this world. He did not beg to come to this world. I brought him into this world. And I will take care of him. And today I am so happy. That God answered my prayers. And in the beat of trying to make my marriage work. I found out I was pregnant again. And this time, the situation was even more worse. It was worse because my husband, my husband was, he was gone even while we were together. And I tried. I tried to love him with every bit of me. I tried to give him everything, but he wasn't understanding my kind of love. And I do not blame him. Because we're two people who are the We come from different part, different families. Our thinking, our beliefs were so different. But when I was about to have my baby girl, there was no money. I had exhausted all I had. And there was no money. And all I had on me was 150 naira. I didn't want the baby. But Priscilla just wanted to come. And so I had I had to beg a nurse to help me deliver my baby in her room because she just lived a few blocks away from me. With no medication, with no attention, I had my baby in the room. Because I took courage from the from the houses that were living at the back of our house because they had the kids in their room and I felt I could also do the same. I didn't care. And when she came, I fainted. I almost died. I lost a lot of blood. And my husband could not even take me to the hospital because he didn't have money at that time. But God saw me true. He saw me true. 
I didn't know what my kids were going to eat or what I was going to eat, but I knew God would do it. But I believed and I had faith and I stood strong. And I raised these kids. <laughs> and ever since I had them, God has blessed me. You don't want to know what I have gone through. Every day, every day, I had to let go of the marriage because I needed my sanity to move on, to take care of the kids. I needed to focus all my attention on my children. And you may call me selfish. But these kids didn't beg to come to the world. I brought them into this world and I just had to raise them on my own. But my tears are tears of joy today because I did not only raise my children. Trust me, I have raised so many other people's children. People I do not even know and those that I know. Family and those that are family. And everyone became family. So always thank God because He loves you too much. We all have a story to tell and I have forgiven my husband and I I pray that wherever he is he moves on just like I have moved on bless all mothers I love all mothers all good mothers all strong mothers God will do it for you he will <laughs>